Welcome back, guys. Grassroots Season 5, Episode well, 6. It's Friday. Match it's today. been a long week. But at least we've got Grassroots to look forward to, eh? Remember, remember, <laughs> First match in this November, episode, then Salford City versus Leicester City. Let's get straight to it. To this, well, I think we're all hoping for fireworks on and off the pitch, but uh, whether we'll get them is another matter entirely. For this match, I've dropped Baba Severin and I've played uh, Wadjig in his place. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Just wanted to see. This is the way turn this down play, a little bit, it? right? And it does allow them with three <coughs> to have Just wanted to see if I can get Raju to uh, unusual these days. score the goals that well, Severin that has not been doing. Could interpret as being a little negative. At the same time as maybe like a fire under Severin and get him on back three. good scoring again. Too far forward, but uh, an onus on the wide men as well to support those two lads up front. This is the Leicester City lineup. In goal today, David Soria, Nampolis Mendy. Seasons, and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. This could suit Leicester on the counter attack. Well, he's cleared the danger. Trying to slip it through. Oh, no. 1 0. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Well, here it is. The first goal of the game that they have absolutely dominated. Very good play. Defence opened up again, but the difference is this time that they put the ball past the goalkeeper. Good finish, and they're looking a very classy side at the moment. Great. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Solidly away. He's got the option to get it across now. And that was a very well-timed tackle chance for a break in numbers looks so promising at the beginning it came to north He's come on well. well defended not just getting across he thought quickly as well insigne he could cross it from here another look here for you alan insigne's goal Really oh, struggling for some reason. I don't understand why. The keeper parries it, and it might not look difficult, but it's all about anticipation. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Ceballos. Has to be. It's two 0 Fine moment for them. It's a great goal. Right on the stroke of half time as well. A goal there to really savour for all of us watching. Well, it was a great delivery into the box from that left hand side. It's where they look dangerous. First thing didn't even move. Well worth analysing again. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Well, that's half time. And 2 0 with the score at the halfway mark. Shocking performance. Referee just checking everything is in order. And he blows for the second half to start. So, changes made at half time. I've brung on Baba Severin instead of Matan. And then switched around Matan and Wadji. Threading Good move. Through. Oh, come on. Situation. They could have made more of that. Um, yeah, so Baba Severin on and also uh, Ryan Kent on instead of Ryan Sessignon. Well, they're having to defend, aren't they? So he's come deep and he's got hold of the ball and they can build off him. Another shot. Oh. He's got his fingertips to it and it's over the bar. So the corner about to be taken. Goes for goal. Nearly oh, again. That's a wonderful save. Oh, that was a goal of the way, wasn't it? Until the keeper intervened. Corner played into the middle. Not wanting to catch the corner. He's fisted it away from danger. Let's hear from Alan McAnally now about a goal in the Chelsea game. It's a second goal for Chelsea. 54 minutes played. 2 0. Thanks, Alan. 20 minutes to go. Could whip it in from here. 
got the ball back in his own penalty area though goalkeeper on his toes off his line and he can kick it away well, he's going to show the yellow card. That's good refereeing to go back to the original offence, having played the advantage. Yeah, you always felt that he would. It wasn't the best of challenges, that. Well, they're going to shuffle the pack a bit now. Looking to attack the cross in numbers. Alan McAnally's watching the game at Manchester United today from Old Trafford. A goal? It's a second goal for Manchester United. 75 minutes played. 2-1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Room in which to attack. Oh, God. He should have made more of that. It's only a goal kick. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. Clivert. So easy in possession. It's part of his game. There's to come in. Oh, field. come on! What is what going wrong? Do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide. Whole so team is just playing shockingly bad. What a chance that was to <sighs> get back into this game. Manager can't believe his players missed that. It's good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. Good pull, one back here. That's a brilliant stop. In goes the corner. Punches it away. <laughs> and in time coming up, there will be two minutes of it. Danny Ceballos. The Abate, Chowdhury. Found. This could be a chance. And that certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that. 2 0 loss. Says, That's that. Terrible. We're giving you the scoreline, the bottom line, it's a defeat. It is, and that just room will be a sad old place at the moment, a quiet one, I think, as it sinks in. And they'll just be looking ahead now, or they will be, uh, to the next match and hope for better things. Brighton up next then. Hopefully a chance to, for us to uh, get a win and get some confidence back. Brighton currently 13th in the table, we're 9th. At the minute now we are... 11 points off the top of the league. We've only played 12 games. It's ridiculous. This is the Amex Stadium here in Brighton on the south coast of England. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Premier League football for you very shortly. Really looking forward to what's going to unfold here, Alan. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. I'm hoping for a nice, quick start that will set the standard here between two good teams. It really is shaping up to be a fantastic season. Thank so you. much competition, particularly at the top. Well, we haven't got to the halfway mark yet, but I do hope it continues in this fashion. So close. Brighton will play with these players today. We put it up as a 5-2-3, it could be 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those, it could be anything the manager wants it to be. He has got some very talented lads out there, though. Clear opportunity! No. back off the post! Oh, he's... The shot's on! Can he score? Put them in front. Oh, come oh, he's on. He's hit it too hard, really, and lost his range. Well, that <sighs> is a total miscue. Here's Wendell. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. 
at the Vitality Stadium. There's been a goal. Alan Macken. Well, they've got him behind here. Here's a chance. Oh. Behind that shot. And frustrated that it better. wasn't quite on target. A better chance well, at least. If he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. That's it. Thank it's God. Been a very good start to this game, and they've got the goal that really their football has suggested would come. You wonder whether missing chances would leave them regretting those misses, but now they've opened the scoring, and you would feel that they'll go on and win from here. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. So easy in possession. Can he shoot? Still a chance in there off the goal. Oh, what That's a goal! <laughs> you need to see the replay to understand the technique here. That is a fantastic bicycle kick. Well, I'm not surprised in a way that this player, this special player, can achieve that kind of finish because he's so talented. What a goal. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Oh, Jacka. Marvellous tackle to get the ball back. Opening them up with a through pass. Right into oh. the goalkeeper, and what a chance. How did he miss it? I think he had too much time to think about it, Martin. It got the better of him. There's a goal to tell you about from Alan McAnally at the Emirates. It's a second goal for Manchester United. 57 minutes played. 2-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. It's Webster. Christensen. Chiaka. his eye off the ball teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here the shot gets blocked oh, he's cut that out well well read the referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes can whip it in now oh well, it would have been a great goal controlled attacking play but it's come to nothing in the end. In goes the corner. It's not really away. Poor clearance. Half the time. Is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. Excellent defending at a critical moment. He's made the interception. He's won possession. Seven minutes to go. Get off. Be a free kick. Well, there are other options from the bench. Clark. It's Webster. That's the goalkeeper's ball when he was trying to find his teammate darting through the centre there and probably onside.
The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. It should be. Oh. There's a chance maybe to hit the target. He certainly went for strength. Nothing wrong with a connection either. Decent win, but probably should have been more goals anyway. With the blend of... oh, he's... The shot's on. Plenty of chances in that match. Oh, he's... Right then, so final game in this episode. It's the big one. Away against Paris in the Champions League. Um, in that last game, it seemed to work quite well when I switched Cliver and Sessignon around. So I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to switch Severin and Enketia over as well. Just to see how, how we do in this match against Paris with those uh, those positions instead. I'll keep Wadji and Kent on the bench. Fecky is on there as well. Um, I think I'm going to play Barlow from the start. And give Matan a rest. But again, he's there if I need him. If I need to call on him. Right then. Last one. Let's go. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned. It's live on EA TV. Certainly can't afford to lose. Well, the rain has come in and apparently has no intention of departing here at the Parc des Princes. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. I certainly can't wait for this league. Thank you, Derek. Well, it's the sort of position the visitors would have seen themselves in. Could qualify for the knockout stages tonight. Will it all go well for them tonight? We're just about to find out. Should be a cracker. How much longer we're going to hear this Champions League music depends on this match. If we lose, it could potentially only be for another one game. If we win, well, I mean, that could potentially only be for another one game as well, but at least it'll be in the knockout stages and not in the groups. Saul starts with Artur in central midfield, and the main striker is the precocious Kylian Mbappe. Deli Alley. Mbappe. Promising sequence. Great tackle. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Neymar. So One nil. A goal in the early stages. Precisely well, Paris are not messing about, are they? Clearly don't want to be embarrassed like they were in the first match between us. Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when he goes to wide areas because they know what's going to happen. The ball's going to come into the box and on that occasion it comes in and now they're picking it out the back of the net. And so back playing again. PSG with the lead. Well, the travelling fans will be hoping their heroes can replicate their recent performances. They've certainly been the surprise package in this group, punching well above their weight. Yeah, they've been the real surprise package of this group, but they're there on merit, you have to say that. And if it stays like this, happy to take on the shot. And he got to it fairly easily. Deli Ali now. Leon Bailey. It's with Saul. Saul, real chance. Ryan Sessegnon has it. 
Go on. Oh, a lovely ball. Whoa. Who was going to win the race? The answer, the goalkeeper. Good effort, though. Artur. Deli Ali now. It's with Saul. And it's a really good looking oh, Paris That was sensational. It's still alive. And that was a very fine read. Mendy going well. And the advantage is with PSG. Well, it was a risky challenge, but brilliantly executed. He's given it straight to the opposition. Flybert. And he takes on the shot. Staunch rear guard action. Perez. And will it be the level out? Oh. It wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. Throw in here for PSG. Kleibert. And Kessia. And Ketia. Oh, surely. Oh. He can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? Being pressed hard. Leon Bailey. An important interception. Sessegnon. Go on, Sessegnon. Back post. The back post oh, come oh, on. It, Still plenty of time to go, Derek, but they won't get a better chance than that. Saul. Deli Ali. Alex Tellez has it. Very attractive looking move. Easy on the eye, but nothing there. Nothing wrong with that idea. Giving it a try. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the... 1-0 down. It's not the way I wanted it to go. Underway then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Might be a chance. Clean here. through two of them. Look He's at this. To get in behind. 2 0. So 2-0 now. Oh, what away. are you doing that for? Well, total domination from PSG as far as possession is concerned. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. Substitution it is for PSG. Can they slot it home? More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. Yeah, that should have gone down then, Clive Ertlad. Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. He's got to score. Oh, come on. Can they put it away? Get and in. Come on. Well, here's the replay. It comes off the keeper, and he's every right to ask where his defenders are. They were second to react, and he's in the back of the net. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Half an hour remaining then. 
Deli Alley. It's with Kingsley Coman. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Will he play it in? Well, just couldn't keep himself onside. And Kessia couldn't keep. Oh, going. shit. Come on! Oh, they really should have a two goal cushion. Well, you can't believe it, Derek. What a wonderful opportunity. You just wonder if they're going to live to regret that. Arthur has it. Mbappe with it. And that's an important intervention. Now we have a plethora of live matches coming up for you here on EA TV. This one, I think, might pick your name on. And in the back of the net, too easy. PSG, that lead extended to two now. Too easy for Paris. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Prepared to take on the shot. And tipping it over the crossbar. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. It is to be a throw-in. Now he must favour the cross. Rivera firing it in and putting his body on the line. Counter-attacking very much an option. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. They've regained possession. Being pressed and pressed high. Oh, my God. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Conte. Hernandez. Deli Alli now. Neymar. Artur. This is Neymar. It's an excellent attack from PSG, but will there be an end product? Can he put it away? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Kleibert. A real opening now. And this time, it's in. No, it's offside. Is not <laughs> going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. That's the kind of player you want from your defender. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Conte. And dispossessed. He's got to score! My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save. A brilliant effort. Teammate in support. I don't think the goalkeeper will be complaining about poor finishing like that, Lee. And that will be all the final whistle. Time is still on the side. Very still annoying. Other opportunities to clinch their place in the knockout stages, Lee. Well, it's better than being out. They've still got another chance to be disappointed, obviously, but still game to go. I'm sure they'll be fine. Neymar, such a difficult man to pin down. So now we have to beat Sport in Lisbon in the final game of the group. There you go then, confirmation we need to win against Sporting Lisbon. We need to beat Sporting Lisbon to go through. That'll do it for this episode then. Coming up in episode 7, we'll have matches against Stoke City, Wolves, and that massive game against Sporting Lisbon. That's a must win now. I wish I could have got a good result against Paris or Juve. Just to uh, 
to secure the next round because that's going to be immense pressure on that match now. But hopefully you'll catch me for that one. Thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you then.